YouTube, how's it going? Max here with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to replace a hard drive on an HP laptop. Let's see, the model number is 15DW0038WM. So that's pretty small, but you can see that here. So first things first, let's take this off. Let's use a plier and take this off right here. This should be three or four screws under it. So right here. So that's one. Now let's take this top one off. So I usually take the tape out and put a new one when I'm putting it back together. All right, so make sure you remember where the screws go because some of the screws are really long and some are really small. So let's get the first screw. And for anyone that's wondering, the reason I have this magnet here, the screwdriver is not magnetic. So by putting the magnet here, it makes the screwdriver magnetic. So let's get the second screw. All right, let's get the middle one here. to the top. Should be four screws on the top. Let's make sure we get them all. On. There you go, second one. And I've never really make a video of me working on a laptop before, so this is my first time doing this. Uh, there you go. All right, so now we need to find a spot to pop this open. So let's turn this around. So I usually start on the side right here, trying to get under it. As you can see here, let's, let's try to pop this under. You wanna be extra careful so you don't pry any cables. Now, let's do the other side, right here. And this should be close to coming out. Just like that, the bottom cover is off. So here, let's check out some of the specs. So this is the battery. So if you have the same model and you notice your battery is swollen and you need to replace it, this is the model number of the battery. 
And this is our RAM stick right here. Let's see how many gigabytes this is. Let's turn this around. Is it on here? No, it's not. Let's pop this open. So this is an eight gigabytes memory stick. So before I start to do anything, I'll disconnect the battery. So there's two screws right here. All right, the two screws on the top are off. Now there's two screws on the bottom right here. Now we can just lift the battery and there you go, the battery's off. And this was the RAM stick for if you missed it from earlier. And right here, this is the hard drive that is failing and it's not working. So we're gonna take this bad boy out. So right here. And this is a hard disk drive, so I'll be replacing it with an SSD. If you're not familiar with an SSD, you get faster boot up time. And hard disk is the old school drive, so let's pop it out. And there you go, it's a Toshiba. And it's one terabyte. And as you can see here, I have a brand new SSD from HP, which is a solid state. And it's 250 gigabytes. And if, if anyone's wondering why I have a 250 instead of one terabyte, the customer wanted a 250 instead of one terabyte since they use the cloud to store most of the files and they have an external storage drive. So let's see here. If I'll need the bracket. Yeah, I may have to take this bracket out from this hard drive and put it on my solid state. So let's get this out. Two screws is holding this bracket. There you go. Now let's put that in here. Just like this. I mean, some people that do it, they usually don't use this bracket, but if you want the drive to be steady, once you put it back in, you want to use the bracket. So let's push that in there. And let's get our two screws the first screw and like this all right so this is not the right screw for this see it's not seated all the way so I gotta take this out let's make sure this is turn out I may not even have to use that bracket because the, let's see how tight the SSD looks when it's in there so the SSD is sitting pretty tight and when I try the bracket it wasn't working I mean the SSD is sitting pretty tight so I may not have to use the bracket so now let's get our RAM stake back in or was it facing? It was facing down this way. And once you hit the click, the RAM stick is in. And this is our cooling fan right here. Let's see if I can flip it around. 
and show you the part number right there. That's the part number for the fan. All right, so that's pretty much it. The new SSD is in there. And obviously there will not be an operating system on here. We'll have to put one and I do have another video on my page that's showing you how to create a bootable USB in order to install your operating system. So let's get this battery back in and we'll close it back up. Make sure it's seated properly. And let's get our four screws. Let's screw the top. All right, the two top screws are in. Let's do the bottom one now. All right, the bottom one's in. Now let's get this one in. Oh, shoot, nope. Right here. This screw is not going in. Let's see what's going on. All right. No, this is not the right. Well, let's see. The screw is not going in. Let's see what's going on here. seeing if I, once I'm closing back up. Alrighty, let's get this screw in here. All right, now the battery is secured properly. And we can close it back up. What I usually do is open it up, that way I'm not putting too much pressure on the screen when I'm sealing this back up. As you hear the clicks. There you go. So this is back up. Now, Let's put the two bottom screws in. Then, let's get the other one. Let's get that metal screw in. Now let's get our top four screws in. As you can see, this is not a hard hard drive to replace. It's fairly simple once you get all the screws out. Let's make sure this is tight. All right. Two more screws and we'll be done. I will not include the operating system install in this video right here because I already have the other one up. But I just wanted to show you guys how to replace the hard drive. So I'll have to get some double-sided tape
And this is the double-sided tape that I use. So, let's see here. We'll use this. To put some tape down. Dang it. There you go. Let's make sure this is getting in there. Like this. And I'll let's use a scissor to cut this at the edge. All right, top one's in. Now let's do the bottom one. As you can see here, let's make sure the camera's right. Just the bottom part. Cut it at the edge. And there you go. That's pretty much it. And once you remove the tape, you can put these back in. And that's pretty much it. That's how you replace the hard drive on an HP laptop. So if you guys find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.